Snowboarding is a difficult and challenging winter sport. Beginners will fall down many times and can quite possibly injure their arms or wrists. But after the initial training phase, snowboarding becomes a rewarding, fun activity which can be enjoyed for many years to come. Snowboarders constantly look forward to snowy weather. It's an adrenaline rush like no other. Skiers may disagree, but snowboarding is a virus spreading its enjoyment all around the world. Find out more about snowboarding and its passionate devotees on today's episode of Generation UA. Snowboarding is my passion. I can never stop. From the first time I sped down a mountain, it struck with me forever. There are plenty of passionate snowboarders here. Young people love winter sports because the activities are fast paced. I know guys who live near the mountains and hone their skills on a daily basis. Every day before work, they snowboard. Snowboarding was inspired by surfing. The sport is said to be invented by either Jake Burton or Tim Sims. A surfboard was the prototype board. A rope and other bindings were attached to it. I remember we were doing downhill skiing when we saw a man riding a board. At first I thought it was like a wide ski, but then I found out it was a snowboard. The first professional snowboarders were so admired by us skiers, we treated them like movie stars. Eventually, snowboards became available for rental, but nobody knew how to use them. Everybody was learning on their own and people were falling down everywhere. Ultimately, half the people on the mountain were taking up the sport. Young, old, women, men, everyone. I have been snowboarding for 10 years now. I tried it and immediately got hooked. My friends invited me to the mountains and I rode my first snowboard there. It was an unforgettable time. Just ask my friends. I'm a lifelong skateboarder, but during the winter it's close to impossible to find some place to skateboard. My skateboarding group introduced me to snowboarding and it has been great. I actually like it more than skateboarding. Going downhill can be very dangerous if you don't know how to control your speed. I know people who have broken their arms and legs. You need to be in control. Check yourself or wreck yourself. Snowboarding does not require Olympic athletic skills or their physique. Passion is what matters first and foremost. The first thing people need to learn is how to configure their bindings and how to stand on a board properly. I suggest starting out on a very small hill and gradually boarding down it. Snowboards pick up speed very quickly and it is easy to hit someone if you can't stop yourself. Definitely buy a helmet. Eventually a good snowboarder will be able to get to the point where they can start traveling over snow bumps and doing jumps. They will need to learn to turn toe side and heel side in a downhill stop. I think snowboarding is easier than skiing, but some say otherwise. Skiing has become very passe. My grandparents ski. Kidding. I still ski. But snowboarding is seen as cooler, that's for sure. I basically learned to ride a snowboard all by myself. After two weeks of hard work and regular training, I was able to snowboard well. It definitely wasn't easy, but worth it. <laughs> there are many styles of snowboarding, free ride, freestyle, carving, and jibbing. Free riding is a style of snowboarding performed on natural, ungroomed terrain. Freestyle is when a boarder performs tricks. Jibbing is a style of riding on non-standard surfaces such as metal rails, boxes, and benches. Carving is when a boarder speeds down from the top of a mountain. I like every kind of snowboarding. It's all unique and fun in their own way. For example, if I'm in the mountains, I like to free ride. But if I'm somewhere in the park, I prefer to freestyle. There are a lot of snowboarding schools where you can learn basic skills as well as advanced techniques. It's really important to have a coach when first starting off. They can show you how to ride the board, make turns, and guide you down the mountain. Without a coach, it will be almost impossible to learn. Theoretically, you can watch tutorial videos, but learning to ride a snowboard without a coach is the same as learning to dance without a choreographer and mirror. A coach will help you see your mistakes. 
Это можно. Теоретически можно, но ты не видишь себя, не видишь свои ошибки. Говоря о местах катания в Украине, конечно. The Ukrainian Carpathians offer a variety of places to snowboard. There are plenty of high-quality and comfortable ski resorts, like Bukovel, Krasia Dorobot, and Kiev. Me and my friends are always searching for ungroomed, powdered hills to ski in Kiev. We race each other down. Ukraine hosts a variety of snowboard competitions, general events along with specialized ones, like slalom snowboarding, which is when the snowboarder is required to ski around obstacles and zigzag. Free riding competitions are held in different places around the Carpathians, including Bukovel and Kiev. Yar and Drabarat are the best freestyle event destinations. Slope style combines elements of freestyle and jibbing. Jibbing is using rails, trees, and other obstacles as a surface. Many snowboarding events are expected to happen this year. A snowboarding park is actually being built in Kiev. Competitions are expected to be held every week. The Bukovel Sunny Days is the best known snowboarding festival today. It involves participants from Ukraine and abroad. Bukovel Snowboard Festival is awesome, a great atmosphere. People come from all over the world to show off their skills and compete against each other. Snowboarding has come a long way in Ukraine. Fifteen years ago, it was barely on the radar. Now, during the winter, I see snowboarders walking the streets of Kiev with their snowboard. More snowboard parks are being constructed with newer obstacles. Ukrainian professional snowboarders are increasing every year. I'm very excited for our snowboarders to compete in international competitions and for our country to hold some competitions. Here's to snowboarding in Ukraine.